So it begins. So I've taken advantage of the fact that one side of these pads is kind of sticky and just stuck it to this plate and I can raise it up here and that you can't really see it, but it matches up with the metal part on the side of the battery here. So now all I got to do is do that a bunch more times. So I've got five of my battery modules on here and you can see there's these labels and these indicate what polarity the terminals are relative to which way the battery is oriented. So you'll see that I've alternated them. So I can just connect this terminal to this terminal, this terminal to this terminal, and the same thing on the other side. However, I have too many of these RP polarity batteries that have the end, these end plates on both sides. So what I'm doing is I have these two modules. I have an RP that had a plate on both ends and an RN that had this plastic cap on one side. And if you just take the, the nuts off this all thread, you can slide these caps off and swap them out. Now it does, the batteries do get pretty, they get, they get floppy if you have those threaded rods not tightened down. So you need to make sure that they're set flat on a surf, on a reasonably flat surface like this. And there's the pouch right there. So you need to be careful that you don't jab any tools in there or anything that could break it. That'll let me get the number of cells in the configurations that I need. So the battery pack is assembled except for the reinforcing plates that go on these ends. The guy who does my plasma cutting said that he could buy the material a little cheaper if he could roll it in with another order and I wait a little longer. So I did. So I'm still waiting on those. So in the meantime, I've pulled out the motor. Um, just undid the four corner bolts, suspension stuff, brake stuff. And when we first put the motor in, the mounts under here were unpainted. So they got, they're hard to see because they've just been painted black, um, but they got kind of rusty. So I went ahead and wire wheeled them all and hit them with a uh, self etching primer a couple days ago. And just now hit them with some black Rust-Oleum. The other thing I'm working out is kind of what to do with these high voltage leads here. Where they come out of the motor is actually in a pretty good spot. So I'll probably just have them come straight up and then over into a junction box inside the car. I also need to handle this here where it needs transmission fluid in there to actually, before we run it, I may as well do that while it's out. So I've got some goodies. The suspension mount brackets have been actually powder coated as well as the washers here for the bottom of the motor mounts. Since I was able to actually remove these and dad knows someone who does powder coating, we were able to get that done. I've also now got the compression plates at the end. So these are these are quarter inch thick steel plates. They distribute the compression force of the threaded rods along the whole surface of the battery there. I've got spots where I can put some more if it's necessary to actually get everything even. On this end, I've actually threaded the holes for the threaded rod. And then on the other end, I've just drilled them through and used some nuts. It saves a little bit of space on this side to hopefully make it easier to put this thing in and out of the battery box. So that's it for this video. Next time we should have a pressure test of the whole thing and hopefully also some fabrication of the battery mount.